Hey guys, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude, and welcome back to another Dino Trackers Jurassic World unboxing video. Today we have the first wave of gigantic trackers. This includes the really awesome Sino Tyrannus figure, which has spectacular coloration and some really great play features, as well as the Stegosaurus, which um, upon first seeing the prototype images and the, the leaked uh, box art, I saw a lot of comments saying this was a very Joker-like uh, appearance, which I can really see with the green, black, white, and red. Um, it's kind of this scary, ominous, and very bizarre mix of colors that I guess kind of go together, but also not that much. Um, but I do love this figure. This is spectacular. So uh, we'll dive right into the Sino Tyrannus first. Um, this guy is a... Um, a green oh wow okay I was not expecting the uh, the feet to uh, not have um, some form of little thing usually this scale of figures has uh, a little um, plastic bit that locks the feet into the box but there's nothing that's so easy wow okay so no struggle with that it stands really nicely too Ooh, ow. So it's got these two buttons on the back here. One controls the head to do this kind of side chomp where the head rotates a bit and it opens its mouth. And then when returning back, the mouth closes. Inside of the mouth is fully painted. It's got a really cool little dewlap um, neck skin thing with these little spikes running down it. And they colored the bit of uh, plastic below the bottom jaw here to kind of make it fit in more. And there's this really cool red um, pattern that goes from the top of the crest down the eye kind of on this part of the snout here and then down the cheek and then kind of down the neck too and you see that color actually on the tail which is spectacular Mattel rarely colors the tails so it's a nice sort of change and it really balances out the figure it also has these weird skin folds skin flaps on the tail kind of like a salamander um, uh, what, it reminds me of the giant salamander actually like they really have these pronounced folds along the side of the body which you can kind of see um, Highlighted on the back of the leg and then to the tail They don't really ha this guy doesn't have it on the front of the body But you can see it kind of starts and then this is when it really like turns into a more amphibious look on the tail and then it kind of ends uh, right at the tip of the tail or the midsection of the end of the tail here and then it's got these like um, plasticky, or these ones are more um, rubbery um, spikes down the back and then on the scan code too, then down the neck. So that's pretty, uh, uh, pretty, uh, what's the word? It's very consistent. There we go. It's consistent down the whole body, starting at the top of the head and then it stops. There's some breaks in between there, there. Um, and then obviously on the segments here all the way down to the tip that is really nice um, It really looks like a complete figure and the coloration on the arms and the neck this kind of extra green uh, Gives it even more of a pop and a natural look um, that second button here just makes it Slap its tail around so you can do a little bit of like a tail um, tail slap I guess it's not that strong of a feature, but it's it's just enough that maybe you can knock down some other medium-sized or small dinosaurs with it, or just have it wagging. Uh, the arms are cool, they're pronated inwards, uh, more accurate than most Jurassic Park, like the wrists are sticking down, so that's really neat. Um, yeah, no, the teeth are really great too on this figure, there's a decent amount of them, and they're a really uh, great size too, they're big, so they stand out. And that eye too it really pops with that red um, and then you can see the tip of the snout has these bigger scales on it as well which uh, give it a pretty neat look and then there's these um, larger kind of spiky scales around the back of the body as well um, it also comes with this gear that we're gonna have to yank out of this package just knocking everything over there wait um might have to cut it out actually. I don't know. Yeah, I'll just cut it out. So bear with me for a second. You guys can watch. <laughs> I'm hoping it's more rubbery so I can. Oh, there we go. It's decently rubbery actually. So 
Um, it's got these little clips, these little, oh wow, it's like an actual little, um, there we go, buckle. That's so cool. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. Oh, now I can't get it off. Okay, there we go. So we got these paddings. It's really detailed. You can see there's some electronics there. This is like a really big backpack clip. That is so funny. Holy cow, they just they just scaled up, a, or I guess scaled down, a bag clip and put it on this massive theropod. That is so funny. Um, they got this tube that runs to this kind of like uh, these two, I guess, lights and or cameras that go around the side of the head, maybe? Oh, the body. Those go on the body. Okay, this goes on the head. So what? what's going on here? Let's figure this out. Actually, I should probably look at the box. I have no clue what I'm doing. Oh, it does go on the eye, and that goes on the body. I've got it completely wrong. This is backwards. Okay, I was right the first time. So this goes on the body. I love this theme. This is so cool. Um, using dinosaurs to, I guess, track other dinosaurs. It's such a fun concept that they're playing off of with the Indoraptor and the Lockwood Manor sort of thing um, for operations and missions, but this is really neat. So we'll put this harness on. There we go. And then it kind of covers the eyes like a like a horse, I guess, like a racehorse. Um, so what keeps it focused straight or just covers them completely? I don't know. But uh, we've got these cameras and or lights um, that are really neat for monitoring and uh, I guess nighttime tracking maybe. And then these, these cables that hook up to the backpack, uh, which probably has all the electronics and stuff. Um, and then I'm assuming it can also kind of break free or try to. Um, I know they had like restraints and stuff in the past where dinosaurs would break free, but that that is sick. I love that. Cute little theme. Um, my battery's actually dying, so let's speed run the Stego. It's uh, nothing too new. It's crazy. It's just being held in by these two, um, two little things. So let's try and cut this out also. So we'll... I don't want to get like a plastic cut from this, but uh, it's really sharp when you do actually cut through it. It seems like the thing's being held in the back somehow. Hmm. So let's try and shimmy it out, question mark? I don't know what they want from me here. I got one. It seems like the buckles are stuck in there. There we go. Freedom. Eat the package. Okay. So this stegosaurus has neck articulation, and then there's two buttons on the back here. One moves the tail up and down, and then one moves it side to side. Um, it's pretty fluid. Bad paint on the tail. There's no uh, paint on the these, but it's actually, I guess, kind of decent. They did get these last tail. Uh, um, what's the word? Plates, plates. They did paint the last plates on the tail. Um, they got the mouth open uh, mold, so this is based off of the um, the Camp Cretaceous Stego. Um, it really gives me the vibes of the 2019 Dino Rivals one with just the coloration with the green and the white, kind of like the browns. Very, very similar vibes. It's got a red eye though, kind of scary. I do like the dot eye that uh, the Dino Rivals one had. I'm being attacked by mosquitoes right now too, oh my goodness. So we got these, what the heck? So these are obviously spotlights, like these are undoubtedly spotlights, and then these are either cameras, they might even be like dart firing, like missile things, and then some like weird padding, and then huge chain belt thing. And this slips over two of the um, plates on the back. I don't know which ones, I'm assuming these ones. Or maybe these ones? These ones, yeah. And then it just kind of clips down here. Oh, that's so annoying. I feel like a, like I'm at a, like a vet. Um, 
Well, it should do that. I'm not gonna bother. So yeah, we got the Dino Trackers, Gigantic Tracker, Stegosaurus. Um, interesting paint job, pink, red. Weird purple under the, the white um, plastic. Kind of looks like veins, kind of unsettling. Um, kind of looks like this guy was a cave dweller or something. Holy cow. Um, but I kind of get it for the mountain aesthetic. It's more white and like alpine green and black and stuff. But my god, does the Stegosaurus look bizarre with that paint scheme. The uh, Sinotyrannus looks fantastic though. Coloration is phenomenal, and they even got like some lighter green mixed into the plastic too to add extra details. So these figures are 